So you've seen a place at the table, and now you're wondering what you can do. And you want your senator or representative to do something. But maybe you're wondering, will they listen to me? I'm just some random girl in her 20s. I'm just a little guy. So maybe you're skeptical, but it's their job to represent you, by the way. So how do you reach out to them? Let's go to Washington and find out. I'm standing outside the Senate post office. 12 million pieces of mail come through here a year. The House has the same amount of mail coming through. And that's just snail mail. Today, there are more ways than ever to reach out to our representatives. Social networks like Twitter and Facebook, email, phone calls, petitions online, and on paper. You can even go meet your representative in person. Nice to see you, Thank Jacob. you for having me. A person's not just a single voice. Politicians know that taking the time to make one phone call is important. One phone call can represent many, even hundreds of people. So imagine if you and a friend, or two friends, 10 friends contacted them. No matter how you reach out, here are some tips. Be personal. A group of people under the heading of witnesses to hunger came in to visit me. These are people who are experiencing hunger. This is a powerful way of advocacy. Be clear. I think tone is important. You want to be constructive because you want a constructive response back. And finally, the one thing I would recommend is that you ask for a response because you want to make sure that somebody got it. You put your representatives in Washington. They represent you. It takes an individual actually sending a letter or sending a tweet or sending an email or making a phone call. The important thing is you have to communicate. If you don't raise your voice, then the issues that you care about are not going to necessarily be addressed here. No matter what you think, ordinary citizens influence change in this country every day. Go to takepart.com table to contact your representative about ending hunger today.